that means. Hello, we're right. You ready? Okay. <laughs> What's up, girl? Hey, girl, where you calling me from? Um, from Jersey. Jersey. How old are you? I'm 35. 35. What you do for a living? Um, I'm a medic. Okay. You have any kids? Um, no. No kids. Mm -mm. What's your zodiac sign? Um, I'm an Aquarius. Okay. And um, have you ever been married? Yeah, I've been married twice. Uh, when did you get divorced last? Um, like back in 2019. Okay. No, it so was married. it was it was a little before that, before 2019. But you're officially divorced. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got Ken Kenya, Jersey, 35 Aquarius. She works as a medic, no kids, married twice, but is divorced. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? <laughs> what kind of man am I looking for? Um, honestly, just someone who is serious and doesn't have a problem with commitment, someone who, who's not like playing games, who really wants to be in like a committed relationship and um, dedicated to the relationship. I don't want somebody who wants like multiple wives or like someone who's gonna string me along. Okay, what are your deal breakers? What are my, hmm. Some of my deal breakers, like, I don't like someone who doesn't respect, like, my boundaries or someone who's, like, who who does a little too much public affection. I don't mind public affection, but I don't like a lot of it, Um, spe especially, like, when we're not married. Like, if we're dating, I don't want you to touch me at all. <laughs> like, I don't like people who touch me. You don't like people who touch you? No. <laughs> no, no, I don't. No, not when we're dating. Like if we're if if we have an agreement, like we we agree to be together, then that's different. But if if we didn't agree to that, like no, I'd rather you like keep your hands to yourself. Okay, keep your hands to yourself, as in like keep your hands to yourself, like no kissing either during dating. Not when we're dating, because it's just it, like, I don't like to rush. So it, I don't want to kiss people because like, you're not committed to me. So I don't really know like what your routine is and what you have going on in your life. So I'm, nah, it just grosses. It just makes, it's, I don't like it. It irks me. It's a real big deal breaker for me. It's a real big, okay. So how long do you normally date for? Um, I mean, honestly, that depends on the guy because a lot of times when I go out on dates, I find that like they are talking to multiple people and maybe they don't want to be with me. So like, I, I kind of leave that up to the guy. And then if I agree to it, then that's okay. So what about, would you, do you do hugs? Do I do hugs? <laughs> Can he hug you or no? It depends on the vibe, to be honest. I don't really hug everybody, no. Okay. So clarity. If you're dating, no no type of affection. You have to be in a committed relationship for the kiss part, too. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any deal breakers? That that was my deal breakers. Like, oh, you know, I don't like like if I'm out on a date. And you and you could ask like a lot of the friends that um like a lot of my guy friends who've taken me out on a date like seriously I don't want you to put your hands on me like if you touch me it's kind of creepy and it is a ultimate deal breaker like we could still be friends but I don't think because you didn't respect my boundaries like after I already told you that that's something I do not want and I don't like it if you can't even respect that then and you you're gonna treat me like. I'm I'm weird for wanting that, then I don't want it. It's just not gonna work for me. Cause I feel disrespected at that point. Like I feel like that's already starting a, a problem. And we're not gonna really be able to agree on too many things. If something that simple, it, like if you can't even do something that simple. Okay, okay. So we got that clarity, do not touch her. So um, should he look a certain way? <laughs>
<laughs> um. So I oh, usually let me ask this: Can he hold your hand? Can you hold my hand? It, it depends on the vibe. Like, it depends on how many times we've been dating, how so, long. So, okay, let's say first date, you guys go to a walk in the park. He can't hold your hand walking in the park on the first date. No. No. I mean, because honestly, to get to the first date, we would have had to be on the phone talking like, cause I don't know this person. So we will have like, I need to know who you are first because you know something like I live near, like, I don't know. I just don't like it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Should the guy look a certain way? Yeah. So I like tall men and, um, I like light skinned men. I would like to date like an Asian guy or a white guy. Okay, why not black men? I've just had I've just had my rodeo with them. I'm done. So you're done with black men? Yeah, it would really take a special type of black man. Like honestly, he has to be very serious. Like he has to really want to be with me in order for me to want to even think about talking to him. Ooh, okay, <laughs> what about what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? I mean, yes, I, I, I want, I would like my husband to be financially stable just in case, like, you know, we have future goals and, you know, I'm not able to keep up my part. Okay. Um, is there, is there a dollar requirement minimum? Is there a dollar minimum? I mean... Yeah, like actually you have to at least make 50k. Like I want you to be like a college graduate. Um I want you to make at least 50k. Yeah. At least 50k. Okay. Mm -hmm. At least 50k. Let's do the Kendra cam. Oh god, you want to do the Kendra cam? I don't have yeah. my tripod, but hold on because you know something um one second. Hold on, Kendra. Let me just get something um to hold my phone up, okay? Okay. All right. Hold on a second. I'm not, you know something? I'm not that I'm not fat though, but I'm very voluptuous. So you know, usually people say I have a nice figure. So, hold on, let me see if I could give you, like, a here real quick, so. Can you see me? Yeah, we can see you. Okay. You know, I got some booty. Okay, so she got some booty. Okay. Can, can you can you see me? We can see you. Okay. Yeah, I got, like, a lot of love handles, honey. Okay. So, all but, right. So Kenya, when was your Kenya, when was your, when oh. was your last relationship, love? Um, so my last relationship was like honestly, I haven't really been in any real relationships. I've been single for a long time. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Oh, no, I don't tell people that. I, I haven't, like, it's been a long time, but, you know, it's wet like a lake down there, so. <laughs> Woo, child. Like, we'll leave it at that. Uh, three flaws you have to work on. I've been to the GYN recently. Does that count? No, that doesn't count as intimacy. Oh, because I gave her all my information. <laughs> the, last, the, the, the question to be frank Oh, like, is, and you don't have to sex. answer it, but the question to be frank is when's the last time a man's private area has been in your private area to give the clear, since, since, since y'all don't understand what that question okay, means, okay. that's what that means, <laughs> but you don't have to answer it. So the GYN <laughs> does not qualify. Oh, okay. All right. No, it's, it, um, I usually don't disclose that type of information, but it's been a long time actually. So, okay. Three flaws you have to work on, sweetheart. Three what? 
three flaws you have to work on. Mm, three flaws I have to work on. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm perfect. No, I'm kidding. Um, communication and I will I will work on communicating. Um being like open minded, maybe. Like being open to like maybe what my guy friend wants to do and not like being shut off. Like, you know, that's a that's kind of a flaw cuz I'm not too open about everything. Maybe like maybe like um That's that that's really all I could think of as far as flaws to be honest. So just two flaws. Yeah, maybe what like um, um, so the first one would be like being more open to what my guy friend wants me to do instead of just being like so closed off, like being more open minded. Mm -hmm. And the first one was communicating, like um, working on communicating with other people or like with my guy friend and stuff like that. Um, and I'm not really sure for a third one what I would say. You have some paid questions. Do you want them? Sure. Okay. So. They paid you or me? They paid me to ask you these questions. Oh, cool. Okay. Sure. Babylon Spaces says, I'm very much a girl's girl, but if someone is respecting you, all your boundaries, and doesn't make sex a big deal, he or she can't hold your hands. It's your world, sis. But that's a little extreme. Well, honestly, you know, I work in like a healthcare, and especially after like COVID and stuff like that, I kind of prefer like to keep my hands to myself until I really know that person in their routine. It's no disrespect. I'm sorry. And I don't include holding a person's hand as being a girl, girl, but. You know, um, no, no, no. She's saying that's that. Pretty much it. Hold, on, hold on, to be clear, she's saying the person that requested that paid for the question is a girl, and she's saying she's normally a girl's girl, as in she always sees things from a girl's perspective. That's what she meant by that, right? But that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't include holding hands with a man as being a girl, as a part of being a girl's girl. Like, no, you're you're, you're not understanding. I know she. That I know she's a girl's girl, and she. No, no, so hold like, on, pause, pause, pause. You're not understanding what she's meant by that. What she's saying by that is there's girls that are like always ride for women, right? Regardless of the scenario. So that's mm -hmm. what she meant by that line. It's not saying, oh, she's just saying okay. as a girl's girl who I ride for you, I'm just confused why this guy can't hold your hand. That's what she's saying. Oh, right. Yeah. Like I said, because I'm, I work in the healthcare field and just after COVID and stuff like that, like I just rather get to know the, the person a little more before I start holding hands. I don't know. It depends on the vibe. I'm not saying I'm against it 100%. I'm not saying I'm going to get caught out there holding somebody's hand after I said I didn't like I wouldn't I mean I, I if I like the guy enough and he wants to hold my hand sure but we would probably be a couple dates in like I see it as a red flag when a man is like trying to grab you up all the time especially when you just met him so you know I, I'm I'm not really with it like I've had dates where the guy wanted to hold my hand and I tried it and everything, but it just didn't work out. So I don't want to like send any mixed signals or any mixed feelings. Like I'm so into you. So let I want to hold hands. Like I hold those things for someone I'm serious about. I feel like those things are special and I don't want to share them with everyone. Okay. So Fair enough. I don't want to do that. Divine Photo says, if you are over black men, why go on a black dating show to say you like other races? Other races are going to notice the self-hatred and treat you that way. I didn't say I hate black people or black men. I'm brown. Like, I didn't know this was a black dating show, first of all. But okay, like, I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Like, honestly, I've never dated a white guy. I've never dated an Asian guy. So, like, if there's some Asians and white guys here who want to date a black female, I'm so open to that. Like, that's really who I want to be with next. Like, that's someone I want to date. I've never dated those races. So, that's really someone I want to date. Like, I, when I'm in the club or at the bar, like, I try walking up to white men and they shut me down. They tell me they have a girlfriend or, like, they just flat out say no. I try to get their numbers, like, and they don't come up to me and talk to me. So, I, I don't know. Like, I'm always dating African-Americans or Haitians and Jamaicans and Nigerians. And I'm always dating black guys. Like, I just want to try somebody else. It you know so my 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 ex husband he's Jamaican but he's like Spanish and oh, that's my why first you were married husband, twice. So what were the races right. of your ex husbands? Right, my first husband he's African American but like he's Spanish and like I've dated a lot of Spanish guys but my second husband he's Jamaican, um but he's still like really really fair skinned Spanish so. Okay, well Pam said a famous actress said she was through with brothers as well, and is paying both of her non-brothers dearly. Um, they forced her right back to them. I guess I guess this is meaning that someone else said they gave up black men, but they came back. I'm not against black men, but I'm just saying, like, I haven't found, like, recently i haven't found anybody serious yet that's okay, of that. like i've already michael had said, two black husbands i don't know michael said kendra can you please ask her if she's in a psychiatric hospital we do see a hospital <laughs> um <laughs> like you know um I didn't want to disclose it. I was hurt recently, so I am in recovery. Yeah, it's not a psychiatric hospital, no. Okay, but, yeah, I guess they're noticing it. They're saying, ask you why you're in the hospital now. Um, I don't really want to tell anybody why. That's my personal information and business, and this is we're way too public. <laughs> like this is true, and you don't have to answer. But you did call us from the hospital, child. But you don't have to answer. You can <laughs> you can keep your business to yourself but you got to take responsibility that you caught us from the hospital. so I, I i'm a full risk right now because i got injured okay but i'm a full risk i'm in a wheelchair you, you see i'm in a wheelchair and i was a full risk but i just recently got back on my feet so i'm walking again but i had lost the ability to walk and i was in the hospital since um it's october now so i was in the hospital since august so I've been in the hospital this whole time, yeah. Oh wow, what happened? You don't want to tell? Um, no, no I can't you don't want to. actually. It's telling I the can't. world. Okay. No, I can't disclose that information, but okay. I was just injured, and now I'm I'm on recovery, and like I'm walking again. I started walking the other day, so I'm so happy. But okay. like, I'm not like mentally disabled or anything like that. I just got really seriously hurt in August. Okay. And then the last one is going to say, they say, have you been abused? Have I been abused by who? I don't know. It just says, ask him respectfully, has she been abused? Um, like abused how? Like, would they, like, honestly, like, no. I think that, okay, because of, I think some people may think that you have a past that made you this okay. way, that made you so closed off with physical touch from the mm. opposite sex. So some people think maybe you went through something so traumatic that has your walls so up. Um, when it comes to no, I've no, I have not been abused. With my first husband, um we did used to get into like a lot of physical fights. That's why I left him. Um and he just used to drink a lot and I'm not a big drinker, so like it, it didn't work out because he started cheating on me and stuff like that and I just was fed up. So I ended that relationship. But no, I haven't been abused besides like that little scruffle. Okay. Well, let's do it. Okay. Are you on the Kendra G? Did I ask you last question? Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? No, no, you didn't ask me that. No. Okay, that's the last question. Why would a guy be lucky to be with me? Well, I'm like the total package. I'm smart. I'm beautiful. 
I'm a nice dancer. I'm very kind. I'm sweet. And um, I take care of business. I take care of myself. Um, I'm just very focused on the things that I want. And if we click and vibe, I think we would get along. I like to travel. So, like, you know, it's really, like, never a dull moment with me. You know, I'm I'm a big on activities. I like to do a lot of things. I like to travel and stuff. So I think we could always find something to do. Um, and yeah. Okay. Are you on the Kendra G singles dating app? You know something? I was. I was. And um I still have it on my phone. I have the app. Okay. But I wanted well, to get up here and put to you on the app. And keep me posted how it goes. All right. Okay. All right. Kendra G Singles, the dating app is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.